Now, first off, I have got to apologise because I have had to use the Game Boy version's music because when I was actually playing this game, I didn't even realise, or I totally forgot, that the game never really had any music. There was a couple sound effects, but bar that, there wasn't really a lot that you could actually hear, so I do apologise for that. Anyway, so this is it. This is Ski Free. This is a game for the PC, all the way back from 1991. Created by, if I can say his name properly, Chris... Chris Perrier. Yeah, I can't say it properly. But anyway, it came with the Microsoft Entertainment Pack. You might remember this. It came with quite a few classic games, but you probably would have seen when you got Windows 95. Let's say that. So Ski Free is literally... It's a ski game. We have to avoid... Well, you can basically go down a slalom, which you all know what a slalom is or you just go down the freestyle so you can do some tricks the way you do the tricks is literally by jumping over the colorful rainbow looking ramps or you can play it dangerous and go down a place where you can do whatever the hell you want now the aim of the game primarily is to pull off some sick moves as well as getting as far as you can now the further you get the better obviously but this, this was not online, so your score was probably against yourself or against your mate. But when you get to a certain part of the level, a certain amount of mileage down that hill, you will encounter the abominable snowman. <laughs> yeah, that's right. There's not just one of them. There's in fact two or three of them. Um, but also, before you get to that, there's a lot of obs other obstacles like dead people floating down the mountain, rabid dogs, and trees. It's a dangerous world out there on those ski slopes, it really, really is. I gotta say, I've had some fun replaying this. It's, uh, it really is a blast from the past. I just, I do remember playing this in the early 90s on a PC, probably the first home PC we ever had. And it was great. It's so, so addictive. The problem is, I've always found it's virtually impossible to get away from that bloody abominable snowman. He just, he will get you every time. Um, unless you're really, really good. Now, obviously, there are two sets of speed here. You can flick between slow when you're going down the real, real touching cloth type areas, if you know what I mean real real close encounters with objects or you can switch it up and put it onto maximum now when you go to maximum it's uh, yeah it's hard I'm not gonna lie it's not very very simple at all and the aim of the game is to get down as quick why not as quick really because that's a lie it's more like the best style the best flair but then eventually when you do see the monster crack up the heat and just go full pelt because you know he's he's right behind you and there's not just one of them, there's two of them. One of them comes from the top, one of them comes from the bottom. And I've, I've never, ever got past them. Or not, not that I remember, anyway. Now, would you want to play it today? I'm pretty sure that looking at this, you probably would. Because it is damn addictive, it's a little bit of fun. And it's not a game that's going to take up hours and hours and hours to complete. It's just a game that's going to piss you off to the point where you might want to throw your PC in the bin. But, all saying that, it is also available on the Game Boy Color, which is a good little platform to play it on, actually. It's quite a good version. As well as, like I said before, or if I haven't said it, it's on iOS. So you can play it on your iPad, your iPhone. Now, I don't know how well it translates onto a touch system that's one thing i will say i'm not sure how well it does translate onto that but i'm sure they can't go too far wrong because the controls really aren't that hard you can also play it with the mouse on the pc um obviously i haven't said about the controls it literally is the arrow keys as well as i think it's j to speed up and speed down 
Um, and then when you're in the air, just literally tap the keys and your person will spin and gain points. So this is a great game. I highly recommend it. It's free to get. Just search it in Google. You will find it. And it's totally legal. I've been Al from Games Re-Up. See you all very soon.